Hi, I'm Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and today I'm trying a brand new product that I only received yesterday called Annabelle Duke's Modern Finish Furniture Paint. It is a minimal paint which I've never used before. Um, it comes in two sizes, 150ml and 500ml and I'm going to see today how far this little 150ml pot goes. So I've chosen this colour peacock. I'm going to carry on once I've got the whole coat on and do a bit of a mixed media affair on here using an IOD stamp, some cardstock and some hand painting. But the first thing that is the test is to see how far this pot goes in a solid coat all over my trolley here. So I'll come back and report how it's going on. Right, so we finished all of this trolley using this sample pot. There's not a lot left, but there is a little bit left. So we didn't need any more than that. And we have done a really thorough job of this trolley that the um, flaps have been done underneath as well. Obviously both layers. It, it took two um, solid coats. I've had no bleed through. It went on like a dream actually, really thin, really smooth, really good coverage. It's self-leveled, I guess, because of its thinness, but it was really, really very nice to paint with. So I shall definitely be using it again. I'm loving the colour. Next stage for me is to, because I'm looking at sort of doilies and time for tea quotes, and I'm still deciding what I'm going to do. So I've got some consideration to do, and then I shall come back tomorrow and crack on with it. So I'll see you then. Right, so I've let this completely dry and cure for several days now. It feels lovely. And I'm going to start my decorating. I've got acrylic paint because acrylic will keep it waterproof. I've transput some onto here and I've got my stencil brush and wrapped a bit of masking tape around it to stop it from splaying. And then I've just positioned my stencil on one edge. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing is more positioning this stencil in different areas around the trolley and creating this kind of lacy doily look that was the what I was aiming for so when I've got a bit further down with me doily in I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I've done a few doilies, all different shapes and sizes, and I'm now using a glue stick as a little stamp with the white paint to create a more lacy look around my doily. I just wanted to show you. Gives you the even circles. So I'll carry on creating my lace, and then we're going to try and work on some some words we're trying to figure out what we're going to write on it so uh, I'll see you back when we get to that stage thanks right so I'm now using um, an IOD stamp to put some letters around my doilies I'm not using the block I'm just using a stencil brush I'm doing them individually it is a bit messy as you can see so you've got to be a bit careful but I'm just loading it up with the white acrylic And if you get any mess ups, you just have to use a tiny brush to touch it up. Voila. Right, I shall come back when it's all finished. Right, today's project is finished, and today's project really was about trying the new Annabelle Duke mineral paint, which I've done. Uh, that tiny sample pot has done the whole trolley, both sides. Looks great, it was two coats, really chocolate, it's going on really lovely, lovely paint to paint with. I like the stenciling, I like the stamping, I like the words, it all looks really pretty. And the last thing we did was use some cardstock and just glued it down the centre to finish the piece off. Hope you like it. Until the next time, thank you very much. Some keeps Georgia on her mind.
keeps Georgia on her mind. An old sweet song keeps Georgia on her mind. Georgia on her mind. I said, Georgia, 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 Georgia. Georgia. 